How to build and space mission automated machine learning model in Power BI just in 10 minutes. Hi, this is Farhana and welcome back to my channel. In my last video, I have presented how you can build space mission analytics visualization using Q&A feature in Microsoft Power BI. Today, I will show you how you can build an automated machine learning model for space mission using Power BI just in few clicks. In this example, I will show you how you can create a data flow with input data, create and train a machine learning model, review the model validation, and apply the model to a data flow entity using binary prediction model in Power BI. So let's start. I browse to the My Power BI workspace which is created for this purpose and will create data flow from there. I am selecting new table, this launches Power Query Editor in the browser. Then select text slash CSV file as a data source. In this example, I am uploading my sample data from my OneDrive. Here the Power Query Editor shows a preview of the data from the CSV file. You can rename the query to a friendlier name by changing the value in the name box found in the right pane. Power Query automatically infers the type of columns. You can change the column type by clicking on the attribute type icon at the top of the column header. Select the Save and Close button to close Power Query Editor. Provide a name for the data flow, and then select Save on the dialog. Select the Apply ML Model button in the Actions list for the base entity that contains your training data and label information, and then select Add a Machine Learning Model. The first step for creating our machine learning model is to identify the historical data including the outcome field that you want to predict. The model will be created by learning from this data. In this example, I am using space mission table and going to predict company NASA for the future. First, I will click on options and select project options. Power BI analyzes the values in the outcome field that you identified and suggests the types of machine learning models that can be created to predict that field. In this case, since we are predicting a binary outcome of whether a mission will be from NASA or not, binary prediction is recommended in this case. You have the option to change the selections to include only the fields you want the model to study, or you can select all the fields by selecting the checkbox next to the entity name. Select Next to accept the inputs. Name the model Space Mission. You can choose to reduce the training time to see quick results or increase the amount of time spent in training to get the best model. Then select Save and Train to start training the model. Select Save and Train to start training the model. At this point, you can see the model in the Machine Learning Models tab of the data flow. The ready status indicates that the model has been queued for training or is under training. You can confirm that the model is being trained and validated through the status of the data flow. This appears as a data refresh in progress in the data flows tab of the workspace. Once the model training is completed, the data flow displays an updated refresh time. You can confirm that the model is trained by navigating to the machine learning models tab in the data flow. The model you created should show status as trained and the last train time should now be updated. Select the View Training Report button in the Actions column for the model. This report describes how your machine learning model is likely to perform. In the Model Performance page of the report, select See Top Predictors to view the top predictors for your model. You can select one of the predictors to see how the outcome distribution is associated with that predictor. You can use the Probability Threshold Slicer on the Model Performance page to examine its influence on the precision and recall for the model. The other pages of the report describe the statistical performance metrics for the model. The report also includes a training details page that describes the different iterations that were run, how features were extracted from the inputs, and the hyperparameters for the final model used. Select the Apply Model button at the top of the report to invoke this model. In the Apply dialog, you can specify the target entity that has the source data to which the model should be applied. Applying the model to the space mission will create space mission model prediction which includes the predicted output from the model and this prediction explanations which contains top record specific influencers for the prediction. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like if you have learned something new today. And I will see you in the next one.